since Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this procedure safely. A warning icon will appear when you should use caution. Whether your repair is simple or complex, you'll be more successful if you break the procedure down into steps, making it more manageable. I'll show you how to successfully disassemble and reassemble the appliance one step at a time. Many new tone bath fan repairs will require some disassembly of the product. These are the tools you'll need to fully disassemble and reassemble the new tone bath fan. Before you begin the procedure, shut off the power supply to the fan. Using a flathead screwdriver, compress the locking tab to release the lens cover from the grill assembly. Unscrew the light bulb. While securing the grill and reflector assembly with your hand, using a 3 8 inch nut driver, loosen and unscrew the acorn nut. Unplug the reflector assembly from the light receptacle and remove the reflector assembly. To reach components like the exhaust fan motor, blower wheel, or the receptacle bracket, the fan housing needs to be uninstalled. Unplug the exhaust fan from the fan receptacle. Using the quarter inch nut driver, remove the hex head screw located on the exhaust fan housing and pull down the housing. With the repair completed, now we can reinstall the exhaust fan housing into the bath fan. Insert the metal tabs into the mounting holes nearest to the fan shroud on the bath fan housing. While supporting the exhaust fan housing, insert the hex head screw and start it. This will hold the exhaust fan housing in place. Tighten the hex head screw with a quarter inch nut driver. Plug the fan into the fan receptacle. To replace components found in the heater, the heater scroll housing needs to be uninstalled. Unplug the blower and heater receptacle. Use needle nose pliers for better handling. Through the access holes, use a Phillips screwdriver to loosen both pan head screws mounting the heater scroll housing to the bath fan housing. Supporting the heater scroll housing, use a flat head screwdriver to pry tabs apart to release the heater scroll housing and remove the housing. Using a quarter inch nut driver, remove the four screws that secure the heater cover and remove the cover. With the repairs completed, we can now reinstall the heater scroll housing into the bath fan. Place the heater cover on the heater scroll housing and secure the cover with the four hex head screws. Tighten with the quarter inch nut driver. Mount the heater scroll housing into the bath fan housing, setting the heater scroll housing pegs into the bath fan housing grooves. Push up until the heater scroll housing snaps in place. Applying upward pressure to the heater scroll housing, tighten the pan head screws with the Phillips screwdriver through the access holes, securing the heater scroll housing to the bath fan housing.
Now, using needle nose pliers, plug in the blower and heater into the blower and heater receptacle. Plug the reflector assembly into the light receptacle. With the grill assembly in hand, feed the reflector assembly through the grill assembly center opening. Support the grill assembly and center it over the bath fan housing. Insert the reflector assembly, screw on the acorn nut, and tighten with a 3 8 inch nut driver. Screw the light bulb into the light socket. Hook one of the tabs of the lens cover into the notch on the grill assembly and firmly press the opposite side of the lens cover to snap the other tab into place. Turn the power supply back on. And the bath fan should be ready for use.